at Skate Zone 71. It's a Sunday night. Yo, this, this right here is the epitome of Columbus skating right here. I mean, if you haven't been before, it's, it's an experience. You know, people from all different cultures come out and skate, different skill levels. So the later you get into the session, the more you'll see. I just happened to come with a friend one night. I was invited. So I came and I was like, wow, this is different from what I normally see. And I was just so excited. And I've been here ever since. You know, if you're not in this atmosphere, it's really kind of foreign to some people because they don't understand that it's not just a movie. It's not just something they did in the 70s. This is very well still alive. You know, people still come skating. We still travel to skate and we have fun. Growing up, like when I was a kid, it was, it was fun and it was a way to stay out of trouble. But what really drew me to it is the thing that I can just relieve so much stress. So many worries of the world, it's gone once you hit that floor. I don't take my phone on me, don't take my wallet on me, nothing. For three to four hours, I am free with no worries of the world. It's just me, my eights, and the wood floor. I've been skating for 58 years. I skate at least twice a week, sometimes three times a week. I skate pretty much every Sunday, every Thursday, every Tuesday. Pretty much my life has been skating ever since I was nine years old. Well, it started when I was four years old. My father was a skater. I've been doing it ever since. My first job I ever had, first paycheck I ever had, I bought a pair of roller skates. Uh, my dad taught me how to skate, but I come from a long line of skaters. My grandfather and grandmother were floor guards for this local skating rink back in the 30s and 40s. So my dad passed on the skill of skating to my, me, my brother, and my sister. My whole family, they all skate, my aunts, my cousins. So it's a generational thing, it's in my blood. I'm old school, I like vintage type gear, so my boot is from 1973. I have a, a plate that I customly ordered online. My wheels are, are vintage wheels. I have about seven sets of wheels. Most of them are, are from the 70s and 80s. So, the weird thing about my skates, is this is my first pair, this is my second pair, and I merged them together and basically Frankenstein them. Uh, these I have on, these are Stacy's with Fomax wheels. They're real slippery, they're like Cali style. Cali style, they skate skating a lot of Stacy's. It's like you're on water. Like you're like really like sliding across the floor the whole night. I started skating when I was uh, probably in about elementary school, but never took it as serious as I did now. Uh, I got three children now, so I'm a full-time dad. So I, I used to skate probably about four times a week. Now it's probably about once a month. So you caught me on my one good time for the month. So a lot of people, they still don't, they still don't know that this happens, that we do this at night. It's just a stress reliever. Uh, you just get on the floor and your soul goes to a whole nother place. The music, you know, we all just come together and have a great time. Skateology is, uh, is our group. It's about 10 members and we host uh, an annual party called Icy High. Icy Hot is always like Super Bowl weekend. Skaters from all across the country, there's like 800 to 1,000 people skating. It's 
it's, it's like one big family. It's, it's love, it's love. That's the skate community. We want more skaters. We need new skaters. So the more skaters come out, the more energy, the bigger the family. There's a lot of history here. A lot of people have been skating for years, young and old, and it, it, it's still alive, skating's still alive.